Daisy's owners warned me that she can be aggressive for grooming. This is her first appointment with me. I'm starting her groom without the muzzle so I can give her the benefit of the doubt. As soon as I realize that she's starting to spin to bite me is when I have to stop to put on the muzzle. After placing her in the muzzle, I realized that she was turning to bite me still. And although she can't actually bite me, she could injure herself by hitting the clippers. So for both of our safety, I place her in the groomer's helper. This will prevent her from being able to spin around and grab the clipper. She really did not like having her legs shaved. I noticed when shaving over this leg that I actually shaved a tick that was attached to her in half. You'll notice the area start bleeding. This is actually the blood coming from the tick. She also did not like having her face shaved. It was clear she did not like the noise from the clipper, so instead I used my scissors. She still wasn't as fond of it, but she was far more relaxed than she was with the clipper. After that, we bathed her in our bright white shampoo. You will notice the spot on her shoulder where I pulled the tick off that has some bleeding. This is not an injury from a clipper. This is actually caused from me pulling the tick from her skin. And today, Daisy is getting something special as requested by her owner. She is sitting in our pink shampoo from Opaws. And after we have rinsed her off, it's time for the blow dryer. She was very well behaved for anything that did not involve the clipper. I left a little bit of hair on her chin so that I could hold her while I completed her face trim. I'm doing her face first before the rest of her body. That way, if she gets upset with me while I'm shaving her body, her face is already completed. I placed her back on the groomer's helper with a muzzle while I complete her shave. The owners told me she preferred the Dremel, but I found that she was much easier to do with the clippers. This made it even more obvious that she does not like the sound of the vibration. After that, I tidied up her paw pads. I sprayed her down in our Sweet Petals cologne by iGroom. And she is all finished, looking so pretty in pink. This is Opaw's shampoo, which is a temporary color that will come out after a couple of washes.